Hey friends, welcome back to Lori's Bust and Found, where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori, and today I have a really fun spring thrift haul for you um, that I picked up at a Savers, my local Savers, and another local thrift store. It's about 20 to 22 pieces. I don't know about you, but I struggle sometimes sourcing for spring and summer pieces, so I really made an effort this time. There's always a few wintry things sprinkled in because I'm a sucker for a good sweater here and there. But anyways, I have a great haul for you today. So if that sounds good to you, stick around. I'll be right back. everyone welcome back my name is Lori I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay I release videos here on YouTube a couple times a week if you enjoy reseller content and you have fun at any point during this video feel free to give it a thumbs up it really means a lot to me and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more of my content so let's get right into the haul. I went outsourcing on two different occasions for this haul, and I was really, really trying to focus on spring items. So I'm gonna get right to it. My average cost of goods is right around that $5 mark. If I spent more on an item, I will let you know. Um, I don't have my receipts or anything with me, but most of these items have been photographed and will be listed over the course of the next couple of days. But you can check out my Poshmark closet. If you're interested, it's Lori Boston Found on Poshmark. Um, and a lot of these will be listed. This piece I picked up at a local thrift store and it is Equipment Femme. I was really happy to find this. I'll show you the brand here. Equipment Femme is an excellent brand. It retails for a lot of money. I have made pretty decent money on these tops before. Um, but I feel like the brand is cooling off just a little bit. I was still very excited to find it and definitely picked it up. This uh, was $5.99. It is a size medium, 100% silk in beautiful condition. There was a cluster of tops and one was an Isabel Morant and I was so sad because it had excessive pilling. And then there was a uh, Mason Scotch that had like some um, underarm staining and then there was one of the brand I was so excited about they were all together and I picked them up all at once and then as I looked through them um, I noticed there were flaws with each one I think the other one was missing buttons and it was Alice and Olivia I think it was like a zebra or a giraffe print it was really cute this one though was in really great shape it was a little further on the rack my guess is that somebody had seen the other three and had already examined them and put them back on the rack that's why three really good brands were together but this equipment found I think I have this listed between $45 and $50. I'm hoping between $30 and $40. I don't typically spend a lot of time in the blouses, so shopping for spring, I really forced myself to get over there. Um, this I loved. I love the color of this. This is J. Crew. It's from a holiday of 2020. So I was happy about that, and it threw me off a little bit because my understanding is that the cursive writing label are the more current J. Crew pieces, but I may have missed something because this is, yeah, holiday of 20 and it has the block letters. So comment below if you know anything, if they're interchanging these labels between the script and this, but this is such a nice top. It has some ruffle detail around the collar. It's in this like cinnamon brown color and it is a size small. I would say it's a pretty generous cut. I think this would also fit a size medium. Really beautiful top. I love these blouses for spring. All right, these have already been steamed. That's why they're all on hangers. So I love being able to show you a haul when they're not like all crinkly and yucky. I wasn't sure I was gonna pick this up. In fact, I haven't run comps on it yet, but the brand is Therese, T-E-R-E-Z, and I have sold their leggings before. This is my first time finding a sweater from this brand, but I loved that it was a little bit of like a camo vibe back here, and it's got the lightning bolt going down the side. It's like a ribbed top. Kind of like a sweatshirt, uh, jersey pullover style. It looks like a size small. It is a size small. I haven't checked comps on this particular, but I'm estimating I'll get somewhere between $25 and $35 for this. And I think I paid $3.99 for this. This brand is new to me. It's called Civil Regime. And this was definitely one of those items that I just looked at and I had a hunch. I, I did not recognize the tag, but it was pretty heavily branded. It seemed like it was 
um, in good condition and I looked it up and sure enough this brand has some really incredible comps. I don't know about this t-shirt in particular. This might be like a $30 item. Um, I think I have it listed at 40 or 45, but some of these pieces were very expensive. So it's just a striped shirt. This is embroidered where it says civil regime. It also says it around the crew neck and I'll show the tag. I know nothing about this brand, but I thought it was interesting. So it's always good to like, if you have a hunch about something to check it out, it's a size medium. And I do have this listed in the women's department, but it could very well be a men's. I thought it was really cute for spring. This is a sweater that I paid up for and I knew when I paid up for it that it wasn't really worth what I was paying, but it was an extra large and it's in this like blush color um, and an embroidered sweater. It just says tropical vibes. It says Beachley with goldfish kiss. It looked like it was a collaboration. Um, I looked at the comps and the, the comps were a little all over the place, but generally on the lower end. I think I paid $12 for this sweater, but I loved it and it was an extra large and I think I might keep it. I do have it listed, but I'm going to try it on um, it almost felt when I was doing the comps on this like it wasn't fit fab fun but it reminded me of something like that where this was like the leader item for this brand and there were a ton of them listed but if you can see up close I don't know if I don't know if you can really see it but it's just um, it's just a palm tree with tropical vibes and it's just this great oversized slouchy beach sweater like this would be great thrown on at night if you're on vacation by the water. I just think it's so nice. You know when you get all tan and you're on the beach all day, you go home, shower, and then you get dressed up at night when it's a little cooler to go out? I love this sweater. So it is new with tag, and I do have it priced, I think around $45, but I paid 12. So I'm not expecting a huge return um, as far as like the profit I'll make on this, but I really did like it. It was new with tag, and I'm going to try it on and see if I want to keep it. This sweater I picked up, um, sweaters at this store are $5.49, so I love to look at their sweaters. I picked this up because it was cotton for spring. I thought it was great for spring. This brand, Pure, I have sold one of their scarves before, and I wanna say it sold between like $18 and $25, probably around the $20 mark. It's super heavy, 100% cotton. It's got wooden buttons. Here's the tag and it's hand knit. So large extra, lot, large, extra large, and it's hand knit. Can't go wrong with this. I thought this was just beautiful, and I really do like to pick up sweaters. Um, I think, no, what I want to say is I, I really do like to pick up cardigans, especially as a transitional piece. You know, if somebody doesn't want to wear a jacket into spring, a cardigan sweater is a great option that they can throw over like a t-shirt or a tank top and you can wear it almost like a jacket, but um, it's cotton, so it, it's not like that heavy wintery feel. The quality of that is beautiful. Some of these comps were incredible. I don't have this listed yet, but I am going to list this around $50 or $60 and see where it goes from there. Oh, this was, did I get this at the bins? This was either, either a bins pickup or, gosh, I can't remember, but I forgot to share it in one of my previous videos, so I just wanted to share it in this video. It just says, be kind. It just has like this XL. This is probably just, this could be like an Amazon sweatshirt or something. I just loved the graphic on it and I loved the message and I love that it was an extra large, so really cute. I'll probably list this between like 25 and $30. I think it's adorable in this nice charcoal gray. These I picked up for myself and they were just too tight for me and they're so cute. I thought these were great spring pants. Um, they're just stars above, which could be Walmart or something. Um, but look at how cute these are. They're like little bohemian floral pants with like soft blush pink trim, super lightweight, just nice and airy. I love these kind of pants to sleep in. Um, and I feel like I live in my Victoria's Secret pajama bottoms that I get every year and I just thought that these were so nice for spring. I mean, I am a sight at the mailbox <laughs> on any given day. I go out there in my pajama pants like more times than I'd like to admit and I just thought these would be really cute for the mailbox, but they are tight for me. I, are they a medium or a large? Um, they are a medium, that's why I'm not a medium but really cute. I'll probably list those around $22. These are two bags that I picked up. I really surprised myself with this one, but I'm happy I picked it up. 
I am not a big Vera Bradley person. I say this all the time, but I do pick up Vera Bradley. But typically, I will say I only pick up Vera Bradley like at the bins unless it's a really unique piece. Rarely do I pay up for Vera Bradley. And there was just something about this bag. It totally gave me like Christian Dior vibes or little Chanel vibes. It's Vera Bradley. It's, it's from their Lux line, which I didn't know until I got home, but this was priced at $8.99 at Savers. I did have a 20% off coupon, but still, for me to pay $7.20 for a Vera Bradley bag just really doesn't happen often. I loved this bag. It's crossbody. It has this really strong magnetic clasp here. It has a detachable crossbody, and it is just in gorgeous condition. And then I looked at the comps, and they were really good. Believe it or not, I have this listed at $90 and probably won't sell for 90, but I'm pretty confident it will sell between like 50 and $60 and it's beautiful. I've never liked a Vera Bradley bag so much in my life. I think this is so cute. And since we're talking about bags, this was another one that I fell in love with. This was in the boot aisle, like thrown in with the shoes and boots at Savers. It was priced at $2.99 and I just picked it up and I was like, oh my gosh, this is just the softest leather and you know, totally my style, bohemian crossbody, um, drawstring, little bucket bag, so cute. But I, for the life of me, could not decipher the brand that is inside. It's way in here. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it, but if I go like this, I don't wanna like harm the leather. This is a brand from Revolve, and I'm gonna show you. Maybe it will show up better here. I could not figure it out. The brand, I did. Eventually I figured it out. I took a Google Lens picture of it, and then I think that's how I actually discovered what this was. But the brand is called Schaefer. I can't remember the retail value of this, but there were also quite a few of these listed on Poshmark. I would say that Poshmark is a little bit saturated with these bags, but I did try to take some nice pictures, and I think I listed it between $35 and $45. I wasn't sure when I first, I think the retail was like $150 or something crazy on it. So when I first picked it up and got home and realized it was on Revolved, on Revolve, I got really excited and I thought it was gonna be a huge money maker and I only paid $2.99 for it plus 20% off. Still a great, great bag, hoping to get somewhere between $28 and $38 for this. This is not from the thrift haul, but I did, I am going to be listing this. I bought this for myself um, and I got it at like Building 19, if you're around here, or no, it was Ocean State Job Lot, which is kind of like a big lots, um, but the price tag on it is $115. It's Dolce Vita. You know when you go into those discount stores that sell like pool filters and cat litter and like everything under the sun? They had this and I thought it was so nice. I, I just didn't love it on me, but it also has this design on the back. Yeah, and it retails for $115, so I think I paid 15 for it. I will probably list it for about 50, 40, see how it does. I need to check comps because I literally just pulled this from my own closet and decided to sell it because I wasn't gonna wear it, but it's so pretty. Can't remember if I got, no, where did I get these? Oh, these I got at local thrift. This was not Saver, so I think I paid 6.49 for these, but they are just Eileen Fisher. Um, Good old Eileen, love her these days. Oh, love her even more. I forgot these were new with tag. These are the Tencel and Organic Linen Slub Pants. They are amazing. They're black, they're wide-legged, so, so nice. I forgot these were new with tag. I think I paid $6.49 for these. I just sold a pair of new with tag Eileen Fisher pants this morning for $50. I swear that's like my sweet spot for Eileen. Even if I, I list a lot of my tops for her for $50, but these, the pants I sold this morning were also new with tag, so I had them priced at $75 and somebody liked them and I sent an offer out within like 10 minutes and they sold for $50 with $5.95 shipping, I believe is what they sold for. So I just shipped them out today. And these I like even better because the other ones were a petite small and they were navy and these are black and they're linen. So these are so nice for the season, love them. I don't wanna get them wrinkled. because This dress I got at Savers, the comps aren't amazing. I was a little disappointed with the comps, but this dress is so nice. It is J. Crew, and it's a one shoulder dress. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. 
poor Caitlin was trying to take the picture of this and she's like, it kept falling off. Um, but it has this ruffle bottom, so, so pretty. And this nice black bow, it's adorable. And again, this is new with tag and it's a size 16. So this was priced at $11.99 or $12.99 and I got 20% off. So it costs like 10 or $11. But it's new with tag size 16 in a really adorable style j crew and i am in love with this so great for wedding season but again the comps weren't fantastic on it i love the sleeve how it's like gathered right here but i think i have it priced at 75 dollars because it is new with tag so we'll see how it does you never know maybe because it's a bigger size i might have better luck with it we'll see in my most recent video, I did a Q&A to kind of celebrate and reflect on hitting my 3,000th sale on Poshmark, which I hit on March 30th. So I just did a Q&A on my Instagram account. If you're not following me on Instagram and you're interested, I'm just Lori's Boston Found on Instagram, but I do post daily to my stories. And I just did a little questionnaire, like ask me anything about Poshmark. And then I answered those questions in a YouTube video once I hit 3000 sales. And somebody asked me, what are you purchasing in the spring? And she said, she or he said, I always migrate to the sweaters, which I find so relatable, right? Because the sweater racks are just so easy to go through. Blouses take a lot more time. Well, my answer was, I'm hunting for a lot of caftans, kind of like the one that I picked up um, for myself that I'm selling, and also this one. Oh, I'm in love with this caftan. I think these are beautiful for the spring and summer. They're airy, they're flowy, they're beautiful. Um, the designs on some of these are so nice, and what I love about caftans is, in my experience, brand doesn't always matter. I like vintage caftans. Um, I have picked up some really pretty pieces that have been unbranded, but maybe they're silk and they sell for a lot of money, or maybe they don't have a special brand, but they're just a great design. This brand is LA Soul, and I love it. And it has, it's very semi-sheer, but then it has like velvet flowers on it. And just look at this detail. So these are all velvety. My dog's gonna bark because the mailman's just leaving. Lucky turned 15 today, he's 15 years old. <laughs> My toothless wonder. Um, so anyway, yeah, that is something I'm on the lookout for, for sure, for spring. Caftans, silk robes, yeah, I knew he was gonna bark. Hold on one sec. All right, he's good. So anyways, I am on the lookout for caftans. It's a personal favorite for my own style, and I think it's a great pickup for spring and summer. And I think it's one of the rare things that, that brand doesn't always matter, so I love that. Um, this I picked up, this is Free People. It looks like it's probably a little bit of an older style, but they had this priced at just $5.49, and I've noticed that my Savers is definitely marking up Free People if the right, I mean, savers, you just never know. They're all over the place. Um, but I thought this was cute. Again, lightweight, perfect for spring. Um, a little floral pattern on it. I'll come in close so you can maybe see a little bit more of the detail. Has a couple buttons, just the three button closure in the front. This is a, it says size 12. It's interesting. I don't usually see a number size on free people. This could be pretty old, but I love it. I thought it was really cute and a versatile piece for spring. Hold up, I'm getting a message. I got this at Savers. This had just come out on a rack and um, it is Nike Golf, which I like getting Nike Golf stuff. It's got the UPF 40 plus men's and it's new with tag. It looked like it was gift. It actually it actually had a gift receipt stapled to it and the price tag on the back here was like scribbled out. So I'm sure this was a gift. They had it priced at $7.99. I had 20% off, so it was less $1.60. It's just a really nice men's golf shirt. I typically don't pick up this style for men. It's not a style that I look for, but because this was a Nike, new with tag, and UPF 40 and golf, those are all things that I think this piece really has going for it. I don't know what I'm gonna price this at. I haven't I haven't priced it yet, so maybe $40? I don't know, I have no idea. Do you sell a lot of Nike for men? This is one of my favorite brands to sell, and to be honest, I can't remember if I hauled this already. I don't think that I did, but I'm sorry if I did. It's Peruvian Connection, and it's just this really soft, like heather, grayish blue sweater with buttons down the front. I know I recently got a Peruvian Connection turtleneck, from one of the stores that I shopped at for this haul. It wasn't Savers, it was my local thrift. 
So I think I'm thinking of that, but if I showed you this already, you're gonna be seeing double. Uh, but yeah, this is Peruvian Connection. I love, love, love picking up this brand. Um, this is a size medium. This is not a spring piece, but this is one of those brands that I will definitely pick up year round, much like a smart wool. This is 100% Royal Alpaca, no holes, just beautiful. Um, so yeah, this was a yes all day long for me. My piles are getting out of control. I have a couple um, nightwear pieces. This is a vintage, is it vintage? No, nope. Um, I don't think it's new, but I don't think it's vintage. It's Victoria's Secret. It's just a night shirt with these stripes. I thought this was really cute. I've been going over to, I'm always over in the lounge robe section, um, and I find a lot of my vintage Victoria secret pieces there and robes that I like to pick up. You'll see a couple in today's haul. Um, but this I think was only priced at like $4 and I did have my coupon. So I don't know that I would pick this up for six or seven, but for $4 with 20% off, $3 and 20 cents, um, yeah, that's an easy yes for me. This I thought was so beautiful. Again, summer caftan. Some people might wear this with an outfit or you can just wear it to bed. No big name on this either. The brand is E Plaza. And this could be just a boutique brand. I'm not even sure. I think it's like a one size. I think across the chest it was like 25, 27 inches. So definitely a lot of space for this. So I marked this as one size. But it's just a beautiful short robe. I love picking these up. And these photograph so well. I've said this a million times. I love getting stuff that looks great on camera because, you know, people are buying based on the presentation in some cases. And so if something can look really beautiful um, in a photograph, it's always a pro for me. This I picked up because it was plus size. It's more of a winter style, but it's Sleep by Cacique. And I think Cacique has a lot of plus size clothing. I don't know if they specialize, if they're just plus size. There it is. There it is. Um, so this is definitely like more of a winter style, but I think this already has 10, 12 likes on it um, and I've sent out offers. I have it priced at 40 and I've sent out offers for $32 with discounted shipping, which is 20% off and it hasn't yet sold. Oh, my little carts was rolling on the um, tie here. Anyways, it's a size 22, 24 and it has all these stars on it. I really love that it was plus size. I love the Cacique brand. And I think this was like $6.99, $7.99. I don't think this was super cheap, but whenever I find plus size stuff that I find appealing, I make sure that I grab it. So that's why I got this. I just have two more pieces to share with you, but they're two of my favorites. So next up is this Everlane sweater. This was something I found like late in my visit and you know, it's just kind of nice when you're five minutes from checking out and you just walk by a rack and you find something that excites you. I love Everlane. Um, Everlane is a hot and cold brand for me. Um, I think people love the brand, uh, but they're known for their basics. And sometimes if it's too basic, it will just sit for me. But this is a really nice um, like cinnamon colored sweater in cotton. It's a size medium. And I believe I have this priced at around 40 or 45. These retail for $78. So it's still a great value for someone who likes the brand. And yeah, hopefully that will sell between 30 and 40. Last up, I have this vintage jacket, this cropped sequins jacket that I am completely obsessed with. I, I see sequin stuff a lot in beaded, but I don't always pick it up. Sometimes it's just a little oversized. It looks a little too like matronly or just older vibe. This piece I thought would just look beautiful on so many people, so many different bodies and with so many outfits. It's just this cropped beaded jacket and it's all hook and eye here in the front. And isn't this just stunning? I feel like this would be so cute with like a white tank underneath with jeans, right? Would look so cute with jeans. Jeans could be ripped up. They could be dark wash, whatever. Um, or of course you could wear it fancy out, but I have to come in close here because look at the beading here. And it's in just gorgeous condition. The brand is brilliant, absolutely stunning. Um, 
think I have this priced around 50 or $60. I love it. And it wasn't priced up in the store. I want to say it might have been like $6 before my discount. Let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was and let me know what you're sourcing for these days. Have you shifted gears? Are you in full on spring mode or are you shopping for summer more? Are you looking for like the tank tops and shorts and bathing suits? Um, I've been picking up shorts as well, but I didn't find any for this trip. So that is all for today's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I was happy that I had so much fun um, shopping for spring and that I had some luck finding some spring pieces because it's not always easy for me. It's always this time of year, like March, April, that I struggle um, shifting my focus for sourcing because I have so much fun, like starting in August, sourcing for fall and winter items. Um, and now this is the time of year that I look at all the coats that I still have in stock and I look at all of my boots that I may still have in stock and I'm like, okay, it's really time to shift gears. So that's what I did with this haul and I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you had fun and subscribe. I will be back with another video really soon. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll be back real soon. Love you guys. Bye. Think about me one more time before